How can it grow if it's not living? Actually, actually, that's like saying if an acorn is a tree. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Kristen Hawkins. She is a pro-lifer, and in this video, she'll be speaking uh, in front of some students. The link to her social media, everything you need to know, in the description down below. Let's get into it. I just want to, I just want to read you this poster that I have um, because I hear a lot of pro-lifers. Um, say that life begins at conception. Mm -hmm. So my poster reads, life begins when you understand living women matter more than potential babies. What is it? What do you mean? If it's a potential baby, what is inside of a woman? It's a fetus. Is it living? No. no. How can it grow if it's not living? Actually, actually, that's like saying if an acorn is a tree. When does the fetus no, become not. living? Not the same. Um, that's actually a good question, but that line... Yeah, of course, because you don't know it, because it's oh. living. Oh. It's living. How would you let her speak? You're, 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 you're fundamentally you're denying science to validate you, your opinion. You, you actively, you actively deny science, ma'am. How am I denying... What science did I deny, Darby? Um, okay, so let's look at some posters over here. But you don't have to be I here. need you to tell me what science, you just made an accusation that I denied science. What science did I deny? That it's a child inside of you. It is a clump of cells when you I'm have a clump of cells. What makes me different? If you enjoy these videos, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. It really, really does help me out. And consider also subscribing to the channel and helping it grow. Let's get back to the video. That you were born? You were born. So you, you don't, what you're arguing is that uh, anything that is not born is not valuable of life. Of I right did not life. say that. It's subjective. It's subjective. Subjective. So when does, it, when does a child or fetus or clump of cells, whatever you want to call it, when does this clump of cells or fetus become living? When it can sustain but, its own life. But when is, the, when is the sustainability? No, when is sustainability? Uh, About like 30 weeks to born, like 24 Because like what, how do you sustain life? Like my newborns aren't sustainable. You can't just have a newborn and they just like live on their own, right? Right. They're not sustainable. They need help and assistance to survive. So is a newborn not, is, is a newborn not worthy of life? Uh, is a newborn not worthy of life? I do have one thing to say to you. How is it that when my mom was in college 30 years ago, she was protesting the exact same thing that me and these wonderful other women and men on this side have been protesting? How is it? Men. Why? Why? Are we still protesting? Why are we still having to talk about this issue? It is a basic human right to have an abortion, to have a choice. The reason we're still having the question is because some people don't want to accept the natural consequences of heterosexual sex and be inconvenienced by another human life or want to selfishly choose to end human life in order to have their whims met. That is why you're still arguing. I feel bad for some of these students. I really do. They're paying a lot of money to go to uh, shitty schools and they're going to leave there. They're going to be in debt and all they're going to learn is a bad ideology that these leftist universities are, are putting in their head. Uh, she mentions the right to choose that it's a basic human right to be able to have an abortion. It's not like a basic human right is something that applies to all human and she's had a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices that brought someone to having a child. One, you don't have to sleep with anybody at all. Two, make better choices on who you sleep with. Three, how many contraceptives are there out there for women? I can't even count them anymore. Make the guy wear protection. You have the plan B pill. You have to be accountable for your own actions at some point. You don't just get to, to be a 304 in the world, go around and sleep around and just think, well, I'll just get an abortion uh, if ever I get pregnant. That's not the way life works. And calling it a clump of cells, these are the same people that if you found life on Mars, if you would say, oh, there's cells on Mars. Wow, there's life. If there's fertilization in the body, there's life in the body. I don't care how you want to look at it, but those are the facts. You can choose to ignore that 
and just act like that's not a human life that you would be saving. But you're wrong. With over 900,000 abortions that were done in like 2020 and 2021, like that is a lot of abortions. Like the left likes to bring up like uh, incest and great fair. Okay, that's less than one percent, maybe less than half a percent of them. So, yeah, maybe maybe we allow those and get rid of all the other ones. How many human lives are you saving at that point? And the difference here is like men don't get a choice, right? If you're a man and you get a girl pregnant. And you know, if that wasn't your girlfriend, just some girl that you know, maybe you don't even like each other, but, but you fooled around, you have 18 years of child support to pay through. You don't get a choice. It's tough luck for men. For men, it's just tough luck. Women, well, my body, my choice, but men don't get that. You see, this is a double standard in society. Men are just forced to pay. And I'm not excusing the guys. I think they should pay for the kid. And I think we should, you know, they should have the kid. And I'm not giving them a hall pass by any means here. I think. Both parties need to choose better on who they sleep with, wear protection. But ladies, if you're going to let a guy bust all up inside of you, uh, there is a chance, you know, that life starts there. And you got to be accountable for your actions. Just to take a small tangent here, men, if you get a girl pregnant and this is not somebody that you were with for a long time, get a paternity test at birth because as soon as you sign that birth certificate, you're taking responsibility for that child in a lot of places and you're on the hook for it, whether it's yours or not. You got to keep yourself protected out there as a man, because let's face it, uh, if you're a man with some money out there, some women will try to sleep with you just for that. And they might even say that it is yours when it's not. Both parties need to keep themselves protected if they don't want to have a kid with somebody. That's why you should only sleep really with people that you're really into, that you're in a committed relationship with. Maybe married if you're into marriage. I know a lot of you watching this channel are not, and that's fine. But you should still not be just sleeping around with everybody without using protection. Men, got to keep yourself protected if you're listening to this uh, paternity test at birth. If this ever happens to you, uh, just don't put blind faith that this girl was not sleeping with anybody else. Uh, get your paternity test. Ladies, make better choices. Men, make better choices because uh, abortion and just killing a baby is not the way to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.